I want to welcome you to this Linux for Network Engineers course. This course is not like other Linux courses. In my experience, I find that most Linux courses try and make network engineers Linux system administrators. That's not what I'm going to do in this course. I'm going to teach you how to build networks using Linux. In this course, we're going to approach the subject of Linux from a networker's point of view, not from a programmer's point of view or from a Linux system administrator's point of view. The paradigm that we're using is a Linux for network engineers, not a Linux for developers or Linux for system administrators. This course assumes that you have little or no Linux knowledge but I'm gonna take you from the basics of Linux to more complex topics. We're gonna to build on your knowledge of networking and build Linux networks running in GNS3. In this course, we'll use multiple GNS3 topologies and concentrate on using the Linux CLI in the same way as you would concentrate on learning the Cisco CLI in a Cisco course or the Juniper CLI in a Juniper course. Don't be afraid of the Linux shell or the Linux CLI. It's just another command line interface that you can learn. In the same way that you've learnt that certain commands when run in a Cisco CLI or another vendor CLI give you a specific result, the Linux shell or Linux CLI accepts certain commands which then results in certain output or certain changes on a Linux system. Just think of this as taking your networking knowledge and applying it to a different operating system. In this course, we'll use Docker, Linux containers, QMU, GNS3, virtual machines, and traditional virtual machines. We'll configure both a Linux desktop a virtual machine, as well as a Linux server. And you'll configure multiple services on the Linux server, including DHCP and DNS, amongst others. Other courses spend a lot of time on the history and theory of Linux. Now, I believe in practical learning. When you learned to ride a bicycle, you most likely didn't read a book. You didn't spend hours studying aerodynamics and the theory of how bicycles work. You most likely just got on a bicycle and tried to ride. I'm gonna get you as quickly as possible to configure GNS3 networks using Linux. We're not just going to learn some arbitrary commands, we are going to learn Linux commands while building networks. You learnt to ride a bicycle by falling off. You learnt to run by falling over. Just get started using the Linux CLI and the Linux shell. And as you become more and more comfortable, you can grow into doing more and more complex things with the Linux CLI. A CCIE didn't become a CCIE automatically. At some point in their lives, they didn't know what an IP address was, and they had to learn that. In the same way, you have to start somewhere and build on your knowledge, and one day, if you're not already, you can become a CCIE, you can become an advanced Linux user. But you've got to start somewhere, and in this course, I'm going to show you how quickly and how easily you can get started with Linux. GNS3 makes this process very easy and you can be using Linux very quickly. GNS3 allows you to build multiple networks on your laptop. So all you physically need is your laptop and you can build multiple networks and test Linux scenarios on your laptop wherever you may be. You could be in front of the television, you could be on a train, you could be in a hotel room. Take this course and take a GNS3 with you and learn wherever you are. It's also a safe place to be. GNS3 is not your live network. 
so you won't inadvertently break a production network. So use Genius 3 and don't be scared to try things or break things. Genius 3 really aids in learning new technologies such as Linux. Why should you learn Linux? Well, look at the next video for an example of why you as a network engineer need to learn Linux. Network operating systems from vendors such as Cisco, Arista, and others are based on Linux, and in some cases allow you to drop down to a Linux shell and use Linux commands directly on networking equipment. The world is changing. Open source is becoming more and more important. Linux is becoming more and more important. You need to learn Linux. And this course can help you do that. So again, welcome to my Linux for Network Engineers course. Please provide feedback. Based on the feedback that I receive, I'll add extra content or adjust the content in the course. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel where I'm constantly adding new and updated content. So based on the suggestions that I receive, I'll either add more content to the course or add content to my YouTube channel. Networking is changing and network automation and network programmability are becoming more and more important. Linux is one of the foundational building blocks for network automation. The future is always changing, but it's exciting. With that said, I want to wish you all the very best in your journeys with Linux, network automation, network programmability, and the future of networking.